Hello everyone, my name is Sean and today I'm going to show you how to create iPhone ringtones quick and easy through iTunes. Uh, now I've created a video two years ago but since then the whole user interface has completely changed. I had very good feedback from the video so I decided to create a brand new one. Uh, so yeah, basically iTunes, I'm going to give you a rundown of what's been changed. On the top left hand corner, to view your media, you've got a drop down list. So music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, etc. Um, and in the middle, you've got the way of viewing your media. So for example, for music, you've got songs, albums, artists, genres, etc. Top right hand corner, it's uh, what device you've got synced, linked to your computer. At the moment, I've got my iPhone 5. And since we're going to do a... A sync for our ringtone, I recommend yeah, plugging in your iPhone. Um, yeah, so what I recommend uh, also before we create the ringtone is make sure that you go into iTunes and preferences, uh, go into general and make sure that you click on uh, import settings and make sure that AAC encoder has been ticked. So it needs to be on that one. Either If it's not, it won't. It won't work basically so make sure yeah it's on double AC encoder click OK click OK again uh, decide on what track you like and you want as a ringtone uh, at the moment I like the track by Daft Punk a bit old school so Daft Punk the funk so I'm gonna type in the funk and there we go we just found it enter bang okay so um, you need to play the track see which part of the track you like you gotta remember that this, the ringtone needs to be 30 seconds. Can't be more than 30 seconds because it won't work. So, um, yeah, play a few times, see which best part of the track you like. So, um, I had a few plays before and I know exactly where I, the, the track of the ringtone I wanted to start. So, um, yeah, all you got to do is a right click, go into Get Info, uh, go into the Options tab. So, make sure you go on Options. And then there's two things we need to remember the start time and the stop time. So um, we need to change that to 30 seconds. So <clears throat> um, the part of the lock from this track, for example, is 2.49 and the stop time, you need to make a calculation and add 30 seconds to that. So um, so stop time for me would be 3.19. I hit OK and there we go. So once we play the track, it's going to play from that particular part. So skipped across that part. Now what we need to do is we need to create a double AC version of that track. So right click and create double AC version. Now that makes a duplicate of that track but it creates a 30 second version of that track. So we go back to the original, right click, go into get info and untick these two, the start time and the stop time and click OK. So that track now is back to its original full version and we've got the 30 second version. So what we need to do for that 30 second version is right click and click on show in finder. There we go, and that's a track in the folder. We go back to iTunes and once we right click, we click on delete. Now this is the 30 second version, mind you. Okay, so go on to the 30 second version and click on delete and keep file. So now we only have just the original. So we go back onto that 30 second version, that new one, and in the file format is gonna be M4A, and we need to change that to M4R. Then it's gonna ask you to keep or use. So we're gonna go with the second one, use M4R, and there we go, it's just changed the format. So now all we're gonna do is right click and open. Okay, so now it's just play the track, that 30 second version, but it's if we go into tones, you'll notice that that track is is right there. So, um, so there we go. So all now we've got to do is iPhone and make sure you go into tones and make sure that sync tones is ticked. And all you're going to do is go at the bottom and click on sync. And there you go. So you just synced your ringtone to your device. Um, and then very surely, all you could do after the sync happens, you just go on to, um, you go to settings, sounds, ringtone, and you find your track there. And there you go, you got your iPhone ringtone via the new iTunes 11. Um, yeah, hope this video is handy. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Feel free to comment. If you, can't, if you find it difficult and uh, something gone wrong, feel free to put it in the comment. I'll respond to you straight away and help you out. 
Uh, click on like if you like the video and cheers. Thank you. Thanks for watching the video.